couple of people have asked me about how we did our hula hoop shower and there are a couple of things that we've done to make it easier to use. So stick around and we'll get to the bottom of this. part it's what you'd expect it's just a hula hoop that snaps up here to the overhead so we can unsnap it and take it down and put it away usually we just we just fold up the uh, curtain and then stuff it up alongside when we're traveling so it's kind of always there ready to go it's two shower curtains sewn together all pretty basic stuff We like it because we're indoors where we can shower out of the wind. And if we want to, we can have the little heater on and warm it up in here too. It works really good. But let me show you what made this kind of different. First of all, down here there's a little hole in the floor. I made this setup using a stainless steel washer and had to install this piece underneath to hold it. But this is for a drain. I'll show you something here on the screen that's easier to use and it's what my daughter used in her uh, cargo trailer conversion. Most of the time when somebody does a, a hula hoop shower they'll buy some kind of a tub. Um, a plastic trough of some kind, maybe a feed trough from your uh, local hardware store or something. But that means that while you're showering, you're standing in your own bacteria-laden, filthy water. And uh, there's no simple way to put this, but if you do that, your feet will stink. <laughs> That's just the truth. You may get your body clean, but, you know, after about, you know, a few hours, you'll notice uh, kind of a funky smell, and that's you. So it's important that your shower drains, and that's why I showed you the hole in the floor right now. But let me show you what we did down here that'll work on not just a cargo trailer, but if you're living in a van and you've got headroom to stand up, this will work in a van too, because this works with limited space. This is a collapsible dog bath that you can get on Amazon. Here, check the picture here. And this folds up and you can store it away, but look at this. It's got a drain in the middle. I used uh, a utility sink drain to do this, available at your local hardware store. You can put in a regular bath drain or something like that. Just cut the hole in the bottom and install the drain with a little silicone and it's been working beautifully. That's why I say you can use this with limited space. This is about, uh, mm, I think 36 inches in diameter. It's plenty big. It feeds right into the hole in the floor. drains right out. Now of course if you want to, if you're in a campground where you can't put gray water out on the ground, you can just uh, have that flow into a five gallon bucket underneath your trailer. That works very well. And when you're done, you just fold it up, put it away. And that's it. Real handy. The other thing is, we tried everything for showers over the years. Uh, we've used solar showers, and they work very well, everybody knows that, but they're heavy. There's no way to hang a solar shower inside the uh, trailer here. And the thing about a solar shower is, it means that you have to take your bath at a certain time of the day. I like to be able to take my bath when I darn well 
feel like it. <laughs> and it's usually later in the evening. We tried uh, Zodi shower, the kind that you put on top of a burner of a stove. Some of them have a stove built into them. And then they pump the water through, a, they got an electric pump that goes in a bucket of water. They pump that water through a coil, a copper coil, and then goes to your shower. Uh, kind of handy except for that if you stop using the water then you go to use it again then it blasts you with boiling hot water and so you got to run that out and uh, and then when the water then it comes warm again then you can start showering again well it was a big thing to set it up run all the ho run the hoses and then there's that wasted water while you're either waiting for it to warm up or when it's too hot and you're waiting for it to cool down so we got rid of our Zodi, we didn't like that. Then everybody likes to use the pump up sprayer. So yeah, those are pretty simple, you know, you put a gallon or two gallons or you know, gallon and a half of water in the pump up sprayer and then you add a, a tea kettle full of boiling water and, and then you pump it up and then the thing is, a couple times during your shower, you're out there, you're reaching out of the shower and you're pumping it up again. <laughs> and you use that and then until the pressure bleeds off and then you're pumping it up again and and then you're also storing that uh, pump up shower and this is a 6x10 trailer we don't have a lot of storage space uh, nice to be able to have a permanent shower set up that would that would be great and and uh, and a permanent uh, hot water system uh, on our cabin we used one of those propane fired uh, hot water heaters that hang on the wall and that actually works really good. It does tend to use a little more water. And once again, when you stop it and start it, you, then you're dealing with a little hot water, a little too cold water, so it's not constant. But it just didn't lend itself to uh, showering in a small unit like this, and, and probably not a, a converted van either, you know, a cargo a, a van for a van dweller. But let me show you what works best. You know, sometimes we try to be as fancy as we can and we got to get the fanciest piece of equipment but let me show you what works best okay you ready for this yep Japanese fudo style cold water pour in a tea kettle of boiling hot water nothing to go wrong nothing breaks so simple you probably have a bucket in your outfit anyway and a plastic cup my wife says the only thing that would make this better is if there was something to sit this bucket on so you didn't have to bend down to use it that's the only improvement that you could make with this but now we've been using this for years and years <laughs> not just this outfit but in others and you just can't beat it for simplicity my recommendation there you go Anyways, I hope I gave you something you can use here. If you enjoyed, enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I certainly appreciate it, and we'll see you around.